Your government at work, sort of. The Senate making a deal, voting to reopen the government a short time later. The House follows suit, but there is a catch. This new deal only good mm -hmm. through February 8th, which means that we could be doing this all over again very soon. And DACA recipients who have been a huge part of the negotiations are still living in limbo. CBS 4's Mola Lange is live at Capitol Hill where he's been there all day in Mola. So tell us what's the latest here now. Well, Rick Maribel, the bill is now on its way to the president's desk. He is expected to sign it. Once he does, uh, the government will then officially uh, and immediately reopen just in time for things to get back to normal for federal workers and services tomorrow morning. But, you know, in this, uh, this political showdown, as it was, this stare down, many Democrats or many folks, including Democrats, I should say, say the Democrats were the first to blink. If not, the yeas are 81, the nays are 18. The Senate approved a short-term spending bill Monday that will end a three-day shutdown of the federal government. Soon, federal operations will be getting back to normal for the American people. We all know what comes next, challenging negotiations on a host of serious issues. Mr. President. The majority of Democrats and nearly all Republican senators voted for the legislation that extends federal spending until February 8th. They reversed their opposition after Republicans agreed to bring a bill to the floor to address dreamers, immigrants brought illegally to the U.S. as children. The Republican majority now has 17 days to prevent the dreamers from being deported. The deal was reached following meetings Sunday and Monday between Republican and Democratic senators. Lawmakers were unable to reach a compromise before a midnight deadline on Friday to avert a shutdown. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders read a statement from the president. I am pleased that Democrats in Congress have come to their senses. The House also passed the legislation. This past week once again exposed the utter incompetence of the Republican-controlled government. This is not a moment to pat ourselves on the back, not even close. We very much need to heed the lessons of what just happened here. President Trump could sign the bill that will officially end the shutdown as early as this evening. Well, in addition to funding the government through February 8th, the bill also extends the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, for low-income children. It extends that for six years. Uh, it also delays three Obamacare taxes, and it agreed to pay back federal workers, basically a back pay for the last three days, uh, at which point their uh, salaries were interrupted by the course of the shutdown.